I want to do a demonstration of how to enter a program into the HP 42S. It's pretty simple once you know where all of the keystrokes are, but sometimes finding those keystrokes is difficult. So let's just run through this one here. So this program starts with the label inch. So we're going to create a new program space first. So if we go here, do the go to, we can see programs that we've already got, but we want to create a new one. So we'll just hit the decimal point twice. And now if we go go to again, you'll see we've created a new one that just has end in it. There's nothing in it, it's empty. So you don't have to select that, it's already selected, but you can select it if you want. And then hit the uh, shift key and go to program. So this enters our program space right here. So it's a zero byte program and all that's in there is just the default end. So we first want to enter in this label for inch. So that's going to be under the program function. So shift program function and there's the label. It brings up our alpha menu and we hit I and then N and then enter. Where's our first line? Zero one, the label inch, just like the program has here. Now let's enter in one times 10 to the fourth, so one E four. Let's multiply that. So we're on line three, we just multiplied. Line four here is the fractional part. So if I have a number, say 1.2, the fractional part of that is going to be the 0.2. So let's, I believe that's under the converts, scroll down, and here's the fractional part. So we got the fractional part. This is a test. So it says, is X equal to zero? If we go to the program functions and scroll through there, this is a, a menu which has submenus under it relating to x and zero, so different relations between x and zero. So we have x equal to zero, x not equal, x less than, greater than, less than or equal, and greater than or equal. So we want is x equal to zero. If it is, then it executes the next one. If it's not, then it skips that line. So the next one is a flag. You have set flag, clear flag, so let's go to the flags menu, shift, flags, and there we have set flag. And asks us what number flag would we like to set. And this is just a, a custom flag that we set that we're going to test later. So we set flag six. It could have been flag one, two, three, but six is fine here. Okay, that's roll down, R down. We're going to roll the stack down. Last X. Again, 1 times 10 to the 4th, and we're going to divide it. Presumably that takes out the 1 times 10 to the 4th we multiplied earlier. Okay, this is flag clear. So this is going to be under the flag menu again, and we have different flag relationships. So flag, or FC, flag clear, and then what do you want to do? So this says, is flag 6 clear? If it is, then move to the next line. If it's not, then clear it and move to the, the line after that. We're going to enter in 06, and we're going to execute, and normally we would have written a program called F-D, but we haven't entered that yet. We're going to put a placeholder in there. So I just hit the Enter key to go to the Alpha menu, and then F, and then I'm just going to do a minus sign and D, and to finish that, press Enter. So now we're on line 12, and we've got execute F-D. And then end. We've already got the end there. We don't need to enter it. So here's the first part of that program.